About a hundred years ago, we didn't know much about the universe. Most people thought everything was inside our galaxy, the Milky Way. But in 1928, Hubble proved that the universe isn't just sitting still, it's getting bigger. This changed everything. Then, in 1997, the Hubble Space Telescope found something amazing. The universe isn't just expanding, it's speeding up. Some unknown reason, which we now call dark energy, is causing this. Because of this, scientists think the universe is about 13.8 billion years old. But now, the James Webb Space Telescope is finding things that might change that age. For example, there's a group of stars in the Milky Way called M92. These stars are really old, maybe even as old as the universe itself. That doesn't make sense because stars can't be older than the universe. To figure this out, scientists used fancy computer programs to guess how old the star group is. The answer they got was almost as old as the universe, which is strange. Maybe we're wrong about how old the universe is? That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. It's the best telescope we've ever built, and it's showing us things we've never seen before. It found galaxies that are only 300 million years old, which is right after the Big Bang. But these galaxies are bigger and more grown up than they should be. Does this mean the universe is older than we think? These weird galaxies and the old stars in M92 are making us rethink how old the universe is and how it got here. Here's a thought. What if the universe isn't 13.8 billion years old? One idea says it could be 26.7 billion years old. This means we might not fully understand how the universe expands or how the first stars and galaxies formed. From these really old stars to the grown-up galaxies, it seems like we might be about to change everything we know about the universe. But it's not just about numbers. If the universe's timeline is wrong, what does that mean for how we understand life? What secrets are hidden in those billions of years we might have missed? One of the most confusing things in our cosmic backyard is a star called the Methuselah Star, HD 140283. Scientists thought it was 14.5 billion years old, which is older than the universe. Stars usually burn fuel at a certain rate, but Methuselah seems to be aging slower than it should. This star is like a sign pointing to bigger questions about the universe and what we don't know. One big question is about something called the Hubble constant. It tells us how fast the universe is expanding. But scientists can't agree on one number. Some measurements say it's 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec, while others say it's closer to 73. This disagreement is a problem because if we don't know how fast the universe is expanding, how can we know how old it is? Maybe the answer is something we don't even know about yet, like dark energy or some other force. One of the coolest things the James Webb Space Telescope has done is look into the universe's dark ages before the first stars were born. It found galaxies that are as big and structured as the Milky Way, only 300 million years after the Big Bang. But they shouldn't be there. It should have taken them billions of years to form. The telescope keeps finding more galaxies like this, which makes some people wonder if the Big Bang theory itself is wrong. Because there's more and more evidence that the universe might be older than we thought, some scientists are thinking about a crazy idea, the multiverse. What if our universe is just one of many, each with its own rules? If that's true, then those weird stars and galaxies might make sense because they're from a different universe. The multiverse theory could change everything about how we see reality. As the James Webb Space Telescope makes us rethink the universe's timeline, an old idea is coming back, the cyclic universe. This idea says the universe has gone through many cycles of expanding and shrinking, with big bangs and big crunches. Maybe those old stars and galaxies are leftovers from a previous universe? The James Webb Space Telescope also found some mysterious black holes that formed right after the Big Bang. These black holes might have helped those galaxies form so quickly, but they also make us wonder what else we're missing about the early universe. We know dark energy is making the universe expand faster, but maybe it's also hiding secrets about the universe's age. 
Some scientists think dark energy might be changing over time, which could explain why galaxies formed so quickly and why the universe's timeline is so confusing. At the tiniest levels of the universe, time itself seems to act strangely. Maybe this is the key to those mysteries the James Webb Space Telescope has found. Quantum physics says the early universe might have been so chaotic that it created galaxies or changed the flow of time. From black holes to quantum mechanics, the James Webb Space Telescope is making us think about the biggest questions about reality. The telescope's discoveries have not only given us a new view of the universe, but have also made us question everything we thought we knew. The evidence is building that we might need to rewrite the story of the cosmos. But rewriting the story isn't just about age or history. It's about all the amazing mysteries that are out there waiting to be solved and how curious humans can be. What if the universe isn't 13.8 billion years old? What if it's 26.7 billion or even endless? What if our universe is just one part of something much bigger? One thing is sure, the James Webb Space Telescope is more than just a machine. It's helping us travel through time, tell stories, and find the secrets of the universe. Every picture it sends back makes us dream bigger, question everything, and be excited about what we don't know. So, are we about to see a big change in how we understand the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope is pushing us further than we've ever gone before. Each new thing it finds seems to challenge what we thought we knew about how the universe formed, how old it is, and how it's put together. The more we learn, the more we realize that we might only know a small part of the truth and that what we thought were facts might be wrong. What if the idea of one single cosmic history is wrong? What if the universe has been around for much longer than we thought, going through cycles of being born and destroyed? This could explain those weird things we're seeing. For example, those galaxies that seem too grown up for their age have made some scientists think that our universe isn't just a one-time event but a series of rebirths. One idea that's getting attention is that our universe is just one in a sea of other universes, each with its own rules. The multiverse theory could explain things that don't fit into our current understanding of the universe. It suggests that those strange things we see, like old galaxies, could be evidence of other universes that we can't see. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to see galaxies that existed so soon after the Big Bang is not only amazing but also suggests that galaxies can form much faster than we thought. If there are many universes with their own rules, then maybe the laws of physics we see in our universe don't apply everywhere. Another idea related to the cyclic universe theory says that the universe might go through an endless loop of expanding and shrinking. This is called the Big Bounce Hypothesis. The universe expands to a certain point before collapsing and then expanding again in a new cycle. It means the universe might have existed long before the Big Bang and could keep existing long after it ends. Those old galaxies or stars could be leftovers from a previous universe waiting to be found in the current cycle. If this is true, it could change everything about how we see time and how the universe changes. In the middle of all these amazing discoveries, we still have to figure out how dark matter and dark energy fit in. We don't know much about these mysterious things that seem to control the universe's development. Could they be involved in how the universe expands and shrinks across cycles? Maybe dark energy isn't constant but changes over time, helping to speed up the expansion we see. If dark energy changes, it could explain those strange things the James Webb Space Telescope is finding, like galaxies forming faster than expected. As the telescope looks deeper into the universe, quantum mechanics might also become more important in explaining some of the mysteries it reveals. Tiny changes at the beginning of time might have created galaxies and stars. These changes might have created cosmic bubbles that eventually formed into the galaxies we see, suggesting that time itself is more flexible than we thought. The most important thing about these discoveries is that our whole understanding of the universe could be changing. We can't just assume that the universe is 13.8 billion years old or that it developed in a predictable way. The James Webb Space Telescope is showing us that the universe might be much more complex and older than we ever imagined. These new ideas don't just shake up astrophysics. They make us question reality itself. 
If we don't fully understand the universe, then everything we think we know about its history, age, and laws might be wrong. The possibilities are exciting and scary. Could our ideas about time, space, and existence change as we learn more about the cosmos? As scientists try to understand these new ideas, one thing is clear, we're about to enter a new age of discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope is not only expanding our knowledge of the universe, but also challenging our place in it. Its mysteries could change our understanding of everything, opening up possibilities that were once just science fiction. From the possibility of other universes to the real age of our own, the implications are huge. As we keep exploring the universe, we're reminded of how curious humans are. We've only just started to understand the vast unknown cosmos. Who knows what other surprises are waiting for us as we explore the hidden corners of reality? About 100 years ago, we didn't know much about the universe. Most thought the Milky Way was all there was. But in 1928, Hubble changed everything. He showed the universe wasn't still, it was getting bigger. This was huge. Then, in 1997, the Hubble Space Telescope found something amazing. The expansion wasn't slowing down, but speeding up because of something we now call dark energy. This helped us guess the universe was about 13.8 billion years old. But now, the James Webb Space Telescope is messing with that timeline. There's this group of old stars in the Milky Way called M92, and it's confusing scientists. It seems as old as the universe itself, maybe even older, which doesn't make sense as the stars cannot be older than the universe. Using fancy methods, scientists tried to figure out M92's age by simulating fake star groups. The result made them uneasy. Could we be wrong about how old the universe is? Then came the James Webb Space Telescope, our best tool yet. It saw galaxies from only 300 million years after the Big Bang. The weird thing? These galaxies are bigger and more developed than they should be for their age. Was the universe older than we thought? These galaxies, along with the puzzle of M92, make us think we need to rethink the age and story of the universe. One idea is that the universe isn't 13.8 billion years old at all. A study says it could be 26.7 billion years old. Maybe we don't fully get how the universe expands or how early stars and galaxies formed. From super old stars to the galaxies Webb saw, it looks like we might be on the verge of a big change in science. If the universe's timeline is off, what does that mean for, well, everything? One of the most puzzling things out there is a star called the Methuselah Star. It seems to be 14.5 billion years old, older than the current estimation for the Big Bang. Stars usually burn fuel at a rate that depends on their size, but this one is doing something different. It's a sign that we might not know as much as we think we do about the cosmos. The speed at which the universe is getting bigger, the Hubble constant, is also a problem. Measurements from the early universe don't match measurements from nearby stars. If we can't even agree on how fast the universe is growing, how can we know how old it is? Maybe dark energy or something else is playing a part. The James Webb Space Telescope has also looked back to when the first stars were born. It spotted galaxies that are as big and structured as the Milky Way only 300 million years after the Big Bang. That shouldn't be possible. With all this, some scientists are thinking about a wild idea, a multiverse. What if our universe is just one of many, each with its own rules? Then the weird stuff we're seeing might make sense. If this is true, it would change everything we thought we knew. As the James Webb Space Telescope makes us rethink things, one idea is popping up again, a cyclical universe. Maybe the universe has gone through cycles of expansion and contraction, big bangs and big crunches, over and over. Could the old stars and galaxies be leftovers from a past cycle? Another mystery is primordial black holes. These things might have formed right after the big bang. We know dark energy is making the universe expand faster, but could it also hold secrets about the universe's age? Down at the quantum level, where things get weird, time itself seems to break down. Could this be the key to what the James Webb Space Telescope is finding? 
All of this means we might need to rewrite the story of the cosmos. But it's not just about numbers. It's about the mysteries waiting to be solved. What if the universe is way older than we think? What if our universe is just one part of something bigger? It's a key to amazing secrets. As the James Webb Space Telescope keeps looking at far cosmos, it's making us wonder about everything. As we learn more, we're realizing our view of the universe might just be a small piece of the truth. What if the whole idea of a single, straight cosmic history is wrong? One idea is that our universe is just one in a sea of universes, with their own laws. Maybe our universe's weirdness comes from bumping into those other universes. Other discoveries support the thought of a multiverse. Meanwhile, the cyclical universe theory says that the universe might go through never-ending loops of expansion and contraction from a big bang to a big crunch, then expanding again in a new cycle. This means that the universe may have existed long before the Big Bang and could continue to exist long after it ends. With these new discoveries, we still have to figure out how dark matter and dark energy fit in. These forces seem to control the universe, but we get so little about them. Maybe quantum mechanics can explain some of the mysteries. At the heart of these discoveries is the idea that our idea of cosmology could be turned upside down. That what we once considered to be definite truths might just be temporary. These breakthroughs are huge. If our understanding of the universe is incomplete, then everything we think we know about its history, age, and fundamental laws might be up for revision. As astronomers and scientists try to deal with these new discoveries, it's clear that we're entering a new era of discovery. As we continue to poke through cosmos, we're reminded that we have barely even touched the surface of it. Who knows what other surprises await as we move deeper into space, as we get closer into the hidden corners of reality itself.